so I don't know if you wonder what we're doing. We're actually going for a walk to go get chocolate. Yeah, Bianca said, I really want chocolate, babe. And I said, let's go get it then. <laughs> the way Zoe mimics me. <laughs> the way you mimic me. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I've just had a shower and in the shower, I think I realized why I had dreams about crocodiles. Because all my life I've always said I don't have any fear. Like I always tried to manifest not having fear. So I was like, I'm not afraid of anything. I have no fear. But then when I'd really think about it, my fear was crocodiles. Like I'd always be like, oh, the only thing I'm scared of is like animals deep out in the ocean because it's not our world. Like we have no control of it. So I was always like, oh, I'm kind of scared of crocodiles. I think what my dreams are trying to tell me is that I have always like, wait, let me just back it up. I asked the universe to have my past self or my future self or spirit guide or anything visit me in my dreams and tell me, just like give me guidance in any way. I'd started dreaming a lot about crocodiles, like every night. If you guys watched my last vlog or maybe gone before that, I was talking about how I couldn't stop dreaming about crocodiles. And it just hit me that crocodiles are the only thing that I've ever been like scared of. Like I've been like, if I was ever near a crocodile, like I'd be scared. Or if I was ever like in the water and there was crocs, I would be so terrified. Like they're so scary. You can't, there's nothing you can do if you face a crocodile basically. And I feel like on my own like spiritual journey, I have learned to like not really be afraid of death. Like I feel like the only thing to be afraid of is that other people around you are sad. But if we could all teach ourselves that like, it's not sad, it's just like us moving on to something else, then you can kind of learn to be okay with it. But crocodiles, right? I was so scared of them. I was always not on a daily basis thinking about, oh my God, I'm scared of them. But that's the point, right? There's no crocodiles in my right reality. Like I don't ever see crocodiles. Like I don't live in Florida. I don't live in the Northern Territory of Australia. These are the main places in the world that I know where crocodiles are. I don't deal with crocodiles ever, right? And I feel like in my dreams, because I was in water with them or like walking through swampland and always seeing them, but in my dream, they weren't like directly threatening me. Like I was never attacked in my dreams or anything. They were just there. And then in that dream where I asked the universe to tell me like, why am I dreaming about crocodiles? Like, what is the meaning? And then I had that dream that I ordered a crocodile like in a package, like what the heck? Like. Amazon Prime crocodile to your house, like what the hell? Yeah, in, in the dream I wasn't scared of it. I was like, oh yeah, this is my crocodile. And the realization I just had, sorry for blubbering on it, but so much caffeine, I just realized is because there's nothing I should be afraid of. Like everything I want to do in life, I'm always like, oh, but what about this and what about that? And then I'm like, oh, but I'm not really scared of those things. And I always like narrow down all the reasons why. Because my past self did visit me in a dream and tell me the only thing you're afraid of, Zoe, is crocodiles. And there's no crocodiles in your reality. So in fact, in turn, therefore, I have nothing to be afraid of ever. I should just do whatever I want because I feel like lately I've been in a rut where I just like, I guess we all probably go through this where we don't want to live a life where we're working for someone else. And like, I do have another job where I work for someone else. Like I don't work for myself fully yet, but my ultimate goal is to work for myself fully. And I haven't been able to hundred percent get myself there yet. Like I know it's, I know it's going to happen and I'm trusting the process, but I feel like my dreams were telling me stop being so afraid because there's nothing to be afraid of. Cause the only thing you're afraid of is crocodiles and there's no crocodiles threatening you. And even if crocodiles were threatening me, they're not threatening my dreams or my goals. They're threatening my life in that moment, but I'm not around crocodiles, so I have nothing to be afraid of. And that's my little get ready rant. I was gonna film myself getting ready the whole time and chat to you guys, but I've had so much caffeine that I just felt like I would just be rambling and it would just be boring, so it wouldn't even make sense. But yeah, thanks for listening. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Not even crocodiles. And it made me think, I might get a tattoo of a crocodile, you know? So I went for a drive this morning. Um, I had to go buy some presents for a friend whose baby shower is today. So Bianca was gonna come with me, but then she was like, oh, I really have to like, I have to work. And I'm super proud of her because she really does have a lot of real estate work to do. So she ended up going into work, which is fine. Really do wish she was with me though, especially to buy a gift. But yeah, so I bought my friend this cute little, very pastel yellow. I'll just show you guys. It's a cute little gift. I just wanted to show you guys the stuff that I bought my friend for a baby shower. Um, these are the salts I was talking about. 
So they're just like sleep salts, Epsom salts with some essential oils in them like lavender and stuff that will help us sleep. So I just, I'm gonna write like a little note saying for like you and the baby to like put in the bath so that you guys can like have a peaceful sleep. And then she wanted us to get her books so that instead of giving a card, we just give a book and write a cute note in there. So I still gotta do that this morning before I go. So cute little book, look at it. I honestly just saw the squirrel and then was like, oh my God, I love it. Bianca found it and I was like, holy squirrel, I want that one. And then this is the cute little outfit. How cute is it? It's so soft. And it's got like a little embroidered bear with a gold little heart. She wanted all neutral colors to not be gendered. So I just went with yellow because obviously any gender can wear pink or blue, but it always happens with babies that people buy pink for girls and blue for boys. So she's trying to get neutral colors, which I love and support. So I just went with like a pale yellow. There was some cute pink and blue stuff there that I did really like. That could have been on either gender, but I just thought, let's just get rid of the gendered colors altogether and get her a yellow thing. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for that today. I haven't hung out with her in a while. She's been living in Bali, so yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Well, the baby shower is over and my designated driver has collected me. Yeah, yeah. How was your day? Um, yeah, it's good. Oh. You had a long day? Yeah. Close any deals? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. you My little real estate agent. Yeah. I had like a little rant to them before about um, I just followed up on my crocodile dreams because I had this <laughs> oh god <gasps> I had this realization in the shower that you you'll have to watch the vlog babe because I've already explained it to them in detail. Yeah. But yeah, I just I just feel really good about life at the moment and I feel like we're on the right path in, in every way. And even though we get stressed about like the little ruts that we're in, everything just always works out. Like as much as we ever stress about anything, don't you feel like everything literally always just works out? Yeah, I do. I don't know if we've told them this. This is kind of a new thing. I feel like I feel like we, we have vlogged a lot in our life, like in the past months, but I don't know if we've told them that we've started playing soccer. Oh yeah, we told them. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's going fun. It's a good outlet for both fun. me and Zoe to fun. to work out on. Do you feel better working out too? Mm. Um, mentally, I think. Also, yeah. it takes out some stress. Not that I have stress, but like I just get consumed with work. It's just nice to get in some fresh air for like a solid hour, hour not looking at my phone, not worrying about clients emailing, calling me, texting me. Mm -hmm. It just gets me away from looking at my phone, which Definitely. is really like. A beautiful thing, honestly. I yeah, really like it. It really is. Where's your basket up, Ooh. What did you do? They got soaking wet? I, they did get wet when I flooded the laundry. So I put them outside to dry. And you forgot. They need, they need a full day of sun to dry because they were soaked. But then it started raining again, so they got soaked again. Update on the tradies, by the way. Um, they built this big wall, which is awesome, because it's between us and them. But they have left, look at that. This concrete everywhere. I don't know what that is, bricks. If These bricks on our property. Here, they would never do that. Oh, would be a fence here. If, we, if we actually owned this house, I would be like, come on guys, don't put that there, no, please. No, we would have built a fence. So, I don't know if you wonder what we're doing. We're actually going for a walk to go get chocolate. Yeah, Bianca said, I really want chocolate, babe. And I said, let's go get it then. <gasps> the way Zoe mimics me. <laughs> the way you mimic me. <laughs> Beautiful afternoon. I love being home at sunset on the weekend. It's a Saturday night and I obviously have been out having a few beverage but 
I'm not lit and I enjoy not getting lit on Saturdays and Fridays anymore. Like, I love not getting drunk. What? I'm just thinking about work. Mm -hmm. Why are you thinking about work right now? Because I need to send some places. It's a Saturday night and we're in having snacks and sausage rolls for dinner because that's a Saturday night. Well, and because we both work tomorrow. Yeah, we both have work tomorrow. We both have work every day, so it's really no different. Yeah. Hi, Stormy. Have you had a good day? Is Honestly, when day? he's home alone by himself, he is the neediest cat ever. He needs so much love. Such a cutie. Ready for snacks? Mm -hmm. What do you want me to make for dinner? Buttered noodles? Buttered do you want macaroni or penne pasta? Surprise me. Ooh, girl! <laughs> <laughs> you said that. Well, I actually didn't buy penne. I only bought elbows or spaghetti, so elbows it is. Why are these called elbows? Like, come on. How's your show going? Yeah, good. Bianca's yeah, sitting over here watching some Jane the Virgin doing her work on her laptop. Work is over. What are you at home doing work for? Work is never over. I'm making dinner. Eating the snacks we just got. Thinking about how excited I am for our baby shower. Today was really fun. My friend had it like a, you can turn the, you can turn a party down. event? <laughs> really loud. My friend had a baby shower, but it was like a party. Like all of her friends and stuff came and it was just like a bar tab and stuff instead of like a traditional formal event. Because she wanted everyone to have fun. And it actually was really fun. Good. I and like I that. can't wait till we have a baby shower. I want it to be like a mid in between of like, well, if we were actually planning stuff for a baby shower, we're not even pregnant yet. <laughs> Plus, you don't plan your baby shower, right? Traditionally, somebody else is supposed to. Yeah, I'm just too much of a planner. I'm too controlling. I just couldn't. Well, I don't have any friends or family here, so technically, you would have to do it for me. I'll get my best friend to do it. She'll do it. Hmm. I feel like she would. She would love to do that. Yeah. Wow, that sunset is beautiful. Yeah, it is. I want to show you guys. These are my chips. That was beautiful. You guys ready for this? You know when the camera just doesn't even do it justice? It's so beautifully pink over there. It really is the little things in life. That we have to be grateful for. He found out what? That I just returned. I read it. Lisa, and she told me that you, well, that you did love me. Well, we're gonna continue watching Jane the Virgin. And I look like a little noodles. egg. <laughs> oh, what? The other day, mm. I can't stop thinking about this. I don't remember who said it. I think we were at dinner. Mm. Who you and I? No, at our dinner table. With oh yeah. With my with, sisters. Yeah. Mm. And I don't know who said it. Either Cody or Tamika. I think Cody said it. But she said everybody in the world looks like a rat or a frog. Oh my god, she did say that. And I haven't gotten that out of my head. Because I'm a frog and Zoe's a rat. Uh, it's not a negative. It's just... No, everyone just every, looks like... I don't know where Cody got it from. But she was like, me and my friends yeah. have this thing where... Everybody looks like either a frog or a rat. Mm. And we decided all naming off people in our lives of people who have frog faces or rat faces. <laughs> so true. So now, now I keep thinking about people in my life and I'm like, they're a frog. Frog or rat. They're a rat. And it's always like, it's always a unanimous decision. Unanimous, is that correct? Yeah. It sounds so mean I'm calling somebody a rat face. It sounds mean calling someone a frog. I know it might seem mm. like just so little clean, anyway. but it's the first step of your... That's it for tonight's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm excited for when it gets to a point where we're vlogging our baby shower because I really wanted to vlog today but I was just trying to enjoy the moment. Yeah. I love you. I love you.
love you. I love you guys. Thanks love for watching. Guys. Bye.